All right, let's move on and work with the data to make the chart. So here am I, here's the data and you can also download the data. I've given you the link for it in the video. I suggest that you should work with the data along with me while making the chart. Okay, so this is the data. It's The data consists of nearly about 60 companies. I have their sales, I have the profit and I have the valuation of the company, right? I'm going to create one more sheet where I'm going to place the chart and I will use the shortcut shift F11 to create a new sheet. Rename the sheet, I will put it as chart, C-H-A-R-T. So imagine for a moment that here uh, I will have my scroll bar and here I will have another scroll bar, right? So I'm going to squeeze the down, squeeze down the length of this column and I will place one scroll bar here and I will place the other scroll bar here. So let's just first create the scroll bars. I suggest you should go on the developer tab uh, for creating the scroll bars and just in case you do not have the developer tab I will tell you that how can you activate the developer tab you need to go to the file menu and you need to go to the options and then click on uh, customize ribbon and tick on the developer tab right here if you're using uh, the previous versions of Excel like Excel 2007 you need to click on the uh, start button here there's a start button uh, with a window symbol click on that and uh, you will have a pop-up and in that pop-up you will have uh, excel options right here so you will get something like this but you will have excel options right here alternatively if you do not find it uh, you can use the shortcut alt um, i think f and i alt f i and when you do that you will have the window open excel options in that window i my first tab is general tab yours is going to be popular tab if you're using the earlier versions of excel like excel 2007 or something uh, in going the popular tab the third option will be to activate the developer tab or enable the developer tab something like that so tick on that and click on ok and you will have the developer tab like i have right now i'm going to go in the developer tab and i'm going to go in the insert menu and uh, there are two things here active x controls and the form x controls we are going to stick to form x controls i repeat we are not going to use the active x controls because these controls are more dynamic they offer more features but they require some bit of programming to be done for them to work with excel whereas form controls do not require any programming and they just work with simple formulas and stuff so I'm going to work with form controls. Here is my scroll bar and I will draw a scroll bar right here. Right. I have a scroll bar. I'm going to place it here. We'll see if we have less space or something. We're going to change the position of the scroll bar and I'm going to just put it right here. Also, I don't want to see the grid lines. So in the view tab, I'm going to turn off the grid lines right here. Right. So the grid lines are off. There's one scroll bar here and I'm going to copy this scroll bar and make another one. Uh, let's see okay so there's another scroll bar and I am just uh, going to make it vertical right and stretch it till here okay so I have two scroll bars one is this way one is this way now as of now although the scroll bars are working but what I need to do is I need to connect the scroll bars to the sheet so I'm going to right click on the scroll bar and go to format control to connect them to the sheet so format control click here and then it's asking me for a cell link as of now it is not linked to any cell and I have to do that so cell link let's say I put it here this is uh, the cell which I want to link the minimum value is 0 the maximum value is 100 uh, if you click on the arrow the incremental change is going to be 1 if you click anywhere uh, in the scroll bar the the page change is going to be 10 that means this is directly going to jump 10 values to the right or to the left and whatever the value is it's going to be displayed in this cell so click on ok and since the scroll bar is right in the middle it's going to show 50 but if you click something it's going to then change the value and show it here and let's name this cell as uh, uh, let's say profit uh, cut off right 
profit dot cutoff oh, i forgot the o here but that's okay so profit cutoff and uh, let's just rename this as well so i'm going to say right click format control uh, link one cell above and i'm going to name this as uh, sales cutoff so sales dot cut off right so this sale this this cell has been named as sales cutoff and this cell has been named as profit cutoff right make sure when you write the name you make sure that you press enter after you're done typing the name the names cannot have a space they can have an they can have an underscore but they cannot have a space or you can alternatively also put a dot so we have uh, the profit cutoff and we have the sales cutoff all right so we have this now our profitability is going to be in percentage not uh, as a number so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this cell and divide this by 100 right and uh, so 94 percent profit let's say our profitability is not going to be 100 percent it's going to be about 95 percent that's the maximum profitability that we're assuming so right click format control our minimum value is zero our maximum value is 100 which i need to make as 90 right here i cannot have values less than one that means i cannot have percentages right here so i am saying the minimum value is going to be zero the maximum value is going to be 90 and then click on ok so the maximum is 90 and what i'm going to do is then since i cannot have the percentage in that format control box i'm going to be taking whatever value the scroll bar is adjusting and then divide that value by 100 right and instead of naming this cell uh, as profit cutoff let's just name this cell as profit cutoff right so i will go in the name manager uh, to, to change my name in the formulas tab i will click on name manager and as of now profit cutoff refers to cell t4 which is t4 uh, 4 and i would want to name it as u4 right so just change this to u and close Yes, I want to save the changes. Okay. And now this cell is named as profit cutoff. This is my sales cutoff. Cut it and paste it here. Right. All right. So, and that's about it. Uh, just take that. And I am. Okay. Now, fair enough. All right. So, and I can convert this into a percentage. Right. So now I have the percentages, I have this and I have the sales. So let's see what the maximum sales are. So in this data, uh, the data that we have at the back end, which has the sales, the profit, the valuation and the name of the company. Let's see what is the maximum sales, right? So I am going to use the max formula to find the maximum sales. So which is about $200,000. Delete that. I'm going to go in the chart and I'm going to say that this crawler uh, will be let's say 250,000 so let's make it 250 I think the values in the scroll bar cannot go beyond uh, 30,000 right so this can be zero and the maximum can be 30,000 and we have about 250,000 right so I will just write 250 here click on OK and uh, then what what will I do is I will rename this so let's just wait a second cut it and then i will multiply this with 1000 right so when i put it down this is 250000 right this becomes 250000 so all i have done is i've taken the value whatever is in the scroll bar and i have multiplied that with 1000 right to be able to have that sales cut off and i'm going to go in the name manager once again and instead of naming this cell this cell as uh, uh, sales cutoff i'm going to name this cell as sales cutoff and click on okay close okay and uh, multiply by this all right so these two cells are linked to the scroll bars and these two cells are named this is the sales cutoff and this is the profit cutoff now the other problem that we have to solve here is uh, that when the scroll bar is down it is showing the maximum value whereas 
when when i push up the scroll bar it should show the maximum value and the zero is here and the maximum value is here whereas it should be inverted right so let's see how can we invert that so what i'm going to do is okay so i'm going to say 250 is the maximum value minus whatever value i have in this cell will then be multiplied with 1000 and then this will be inverted so now if you just take a look at my sales cutoff i'm just going to bring that closer so if you just take a look at this right when i push this up this is increasing don't take a look at this just take a look at this uh, and when i finally push this up this is going to reach 250,000. that's exactly what i want right so we have our scroll bars up and now what i have to do is uh, play around with the data uh, write the conditions in the data right here write the conditions in the data i'm going to write some conditions here which are going to filter the data and then i'm going to plot the data in the chart so let's see how can we do that